feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sound. Welcome back to TechTuned, your go-to place for all things tech. In today's video, we are going to be installing and reviewing Pixel Experience 13.0 on the Galaxy Note 9. We'll compare it with One UI 6.1.1 Noble ROM and dive deep into all the features, battery life, performance and more. Pixel Experience is an AOSP-based custom ROM with Google's stock experience bringing all those Pixel exclusive features on your Galaxy Note 9. It's a smooth, clean interface that many users swear by. But how does it hold up against the One UI 6.1.1? Let's break it down. Pixel Experience is based on Android 13, aims to deliver a near stock Android experience with all the goodies of the Pixel. From the Pixel Launcher, Pixel Wallpapers, Fonts, to the iconic boot animation, it feels like you are using a Pixel phone. In terms of usability, you get all the essential gesture navigations, adaptive brightness and the Pixel exclusive features like the new lock screen shortcuts, now playing and the enhanced do not disturb mode. The camera app works flawlessly, giving you the same Google camera experience and yes, the camera flash and the camcorder features are all fully operational. Battery life? Well, that's one of the standout features. Pixel experience is light and with the optimized Android 13.0 base, you will experience excellent battery life day to day, especially in comparison to the bloated One UI. Now let's talk about the difference between Pixel experience and One UI 6.1.1 Noble ROM. One UI has always been Samsung's powerhouse with tons of features, customization, Samsung-specific apps, and its own set of security features, but it's a little bit heavier on resources. Pixel Experience keeps things simple with full gesture-based navigations, whereas One UI 6.1.1 sticks with its more traditional navigation buttons or gestures with additional customization options. When it comes to features, Pixel Experience may feel a bit bare bones compared to One UI. You are missing Samsung's custom widgets and features like Edge Panel, but in return, you get a cleaner, faster, more stock Android like experience. One important thing to mention is that there is currently a bug with VoiceOver LTE support. In terms of day to day usage, Pixel Experience is optimized for smooth performance. Navigating apps, browsing the web, and general use feels snappy and responsive. Without the slowdowns you sometimes get with heavy UI skins like One UI. Now that we've covered the comparison and review, let's get into the installation process. First, you'll need to have TWRP Recovery installed on your Galaxy Note 9. If you don't have it yet, follow our previous guide on how to install TWRP. Once you are in TWRP, it's always recommended to do a full wipe before flashing the new ROM. This includes wiping the cache, Dalvik data and system partitions to ensure a clean install. Once that's done, go back and hit wipe again and then hit advanced wipe and type in yes. And now confirm the wipe and this will format your data. Next, locate your Pixel Experience ROM zip file that you've downloaded. Make sure it's the correct one for your device, which in this case is the Crown LTE variant. Once you've located the ROM file, swipe to confirm flash. This will begin the installation process. The installation might take 5 to 6 minutes, so let me just fast forward this.
after flashing, go ahead and reboot the system. The first boot might take a little longer than usual but don't worry, that's completely normal. After the reboot, you will be greeted by the Pixel Experience setup screen. Just follow the instructions to set up your device as usual and you are good to go. And that's it folks, Pixel Experience on your Galaxy Note 9 along with a detailed review and comparison to One UI 6.1.1. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let me know in the comments how Pixel Experience is working for you or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tech content from TechTuned. See you in the next video.